What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today I've got something that I think will be kind of cool. I got some G9 9mm first response ammunition. Now it's a solid copper round with an external hollow point design. Uh, it's got three divots uh, kind of in a spiral on it. Uh, supposed to be anti-armor, normally available only to law enforcement, military. Uh, I was able to get a hold of a couple of rounds to demo for you guys. Uh, we'll show it to you once we get out to the range and uh, get a, a good close-up look of that. But We'll be using the Beretta APX Compact 9mm for the, uh, the test today. And we have a level 4 plate and a SWAT style ballistic helmet. I'm not sure what the rating is on the helmet. Uh, it's not marked anywhere but uh, we'll put them both to the test and see how they hold up against that 9mm round. Now, the sweet shirt that I'm wearing, this is Lions Not Sheep. Uh, Sean Whalen is the, uh, the owner of that. Not sponsored at all for this video. Uh, I bought the shirt and uh, just wanted to show it off for you guys. Super cool stuff over there. Again, I'm not receiving any payment or compensation or anything from them. Uh, just giving them a shout out, kind of a, a freebie here. So, super cool, cool designs, good quality shirts. Uh, if you're interested, head over and check them out. So, meanwhile, we're going to head out to the range and get started with today's video. Alright, so we have an old SWAT style helmet here. I'm not sure what the ballistic rating on it is, but we're going to put it to the test and uh, see if it'll stop that 9mm G9 first response. Here's a look at the body armor we're going to be using. This is point blank body armor. And it is a level four. All right, I want to give you guys a quick look at this ammo before we get started here. It's got the three pockets in it, kind of an external hollow point type of design. And uh, we're going to put it to the test and see how it does against body armor. Okay, so we have the Beretta APX loaded with that G9 first response ammunition. We're about 10 yards back. We've got the uh, that plate and plate carrier angled, so it should deflect any kind of ricochet that we may get. And uh, these are ballistic rated. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we had a good hit. We popped our balloon, so there was some kind of shrapnel or debris that came off of this. So we got some tearing here and here. Let's pull that plate out and see what we're looking at. Okay, we pulled the plate out. We've got a good uh, mark right here, but absolutely no kind of penetration to that. Looking at this, looks like we hit here, which correlates here, and then this tore from the round and then it looks like it actually came out the top which would have gone out that way there's absolutely nothing out there so perfectly safe but very interesting result okay second round of this we've got the ballistic helmet down there I actually put a little bit more of an angle downward to it and more off to the side into those trees just to be even more safe Duck on it, you guys. I think I missed. Nope, I clipped it. Right there. Uh, Alright, well. Let's try that again. I think I've got some hollow point ammo that we can try. I just aimed too low. Oh. Nothing like sliding into frame, huh? All right. <laughs> so I've got some grizzly, I think this is 115 grain jacketed hollow point. 
it's not nearly the same stuff but came out here to shoot a helmet with a nine millimeter so let's see what happens that kind of hurt Y'all, I think I hit the exact same spot. I did. I did hit the same spot. All right, well, we're gonna call that for today. If you uh, get hit right in the lower lobe there, I uh, can't promise you that that helmet's gonna stop it. But it did chew it up pretty good. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with the ballistic test of the level 4 panel and the uh, ballistic helmet with the G9 first response ammunition. Uh, didn't really have any sort of reaction at all on that ballistic body panel. Uh, left a good mark on it, but really didn't even divot it that much. The helmet on the other hand, well, I hit low both shots and uh, that was all the, uh, the ammo that I had available. So we'll... Uh, put it to the test of some other calibers down the road and next couple of videos and then we'll see if at the end of that uh, maybe we'll put it to the test with another nine millimeter round and maybe we'll even do 45 ACP just to see again we'll see how much that helmet's left by the time we're all said and done here so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video found it informative be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already uh, share the video with your friends we're really trying to push towards that thousand subscriber mark and once we do that, then uh, I'll put up a, uh, a choice for you guys of what the next gun I pick up for the channel will be. So be pretty cool. Looking forward to, uh, to when that happens. Uh, be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram as well. I do have a firearms blog. I have not been good about keeping up on that. So if you want to read up on uh, some more of the videos that I've done in the past and... Uh, up till I forget where I left off but it, I'll try to get it caught up at some point you guys so uh, if you're interested in that if not well then it'll be there anyway so I hope you guys all have a great week happy 4th of July stay safe and sane God bless and we'll see you next time